How's it going everybody? I'm ETG and today I've got a really simple little project for you. Alright everybody, so as you can see from the video title and the video description, we're going to be doing some custom home theater backlighting. Um, you're wondering what that is? It is this. And the way that we're doing it is actually going to be the most simple setup possible. No soldering required or anything, it's just purchasing the parts and putting them together. Um, and as you can see, it's controlled by this little remote. Turns it off, you can um, change the brightness, which is quite nice. Um, and all you really need for it is some LEDs, um, some sort of AC adapter that's 12 volts. I got this one from Best Buy. Um, I worked there so it was a little bit cheaper, uh, but normally it's around $20. There is a ton of other options. I mean, on Amazon you can get one of these for $5 or so. Um, the biggest reason I got this is because it has a USB port on it, um, and it just gives me an extra USB port to plug something into. Then, of course, you will need the actual remote control unit itself, which all have both this and this linked in the description for it to go pick up. Um, the remote's only about $7, and the LEDs are about $10. Um, I'll go ahead and throw one of these in there too. Not from the Best Buy website, but um, just from Amazon that'll work. And pretty much all it is is putting the LEDs on the TV and then um, plugging it all together and you're good. And I'll go ahead and show you how I put on the LEDs real quick. All right, so as you can see here, all I pretty much did was cut down the appropriate length of LEDs for my TV. Um, and basically, if you've never dealt with LEDs before, LED strips, I should say, it's really simple. Um, they You can cut them down in sections of three. So every three LEDs, there's a little cut mark where you can cut it without damaging them. Um, so you just kind of measure that out and cut it perfectly. And most of them, if not all of them, come with adhesive on the back. So just stick it on there. Um, and mine did come with a pre-installed, let's see if you can see this, little connector right there. Um, and all you have to do is take the little wireless remote unit, which is the little white cord here, plug it into there, and then plug in the power source to it. And it does come out looking really nice, as you can see. Um, and the cool thing is, too, the remote doesn't even have to be facing the um, little wireless receiver unit. Um, it works over frequency, I'm assuming, so you don't really need to have it pointed directly towards it. It's not infrared. Um, so, yeah. And uh, there is quite a few different modes. I'm not going to play all of them because some are strobe modes, and I don't want anybody getting sick because of that. <laughs> um but you're not limited to just one color with this either. You could easily do um, red or blue or green. In fact, I've actually got some blue LEDs right here um, that I could have used. I've actually used it previously on a different project. Um, but yeah, you can also dim them with a little remote. 100%, 50, 25. Um, and there's quite a few different um, little modes on here. And it does come with an instruction booklet that tells you everything, um, which is good. But yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any other questions or anything, go ahead and let me know in the comments. If you do like the video, click like below, and don't forget to subscribe. Because